the middle of the holiday season and Christmas is coming up, so we all know what that means. A lot of baking going on. Um, today we're going to be making, I know a lot of you older folks may remember these, but it's a whoopie pie. And they're not really a pie, so <laughs> I don't know how they got that name. I may have to research that. But uh, it's not a cookie, and it's not a cake, and it's really not a pie, but they're whoopie pies, and they're so good. Um, I used to make these all the time for my kids when they were younger in school. I'd make the uh, chocolate version, and it had a marshmallow cream filling in it, and I'd wrap them up and put them in the refrigerator, and I just really enjoyed them. But this one is a orange cranberry Christmas whoopie pie with a marshmallow cream filling, and it's really going to be delicious. So we're going to get started. I got all my ingredients out here. And like I always say, it's not going to take long to get it whipped up. Okay, we're going to start out with our dry ingredients. And in my white bowl right here, I've got four cups of all-purpose flour. And here I've got two teaspoons of baking powder, a teaspoon of baking soda, and a teaspoon of salt. And we're just going to mix the dry ingredients up. Get them incorporated good. I've got my oven heating at 400 degrees. And I know that sounds pretty high, but uh, that's what the recipe always calls for is a high temperature. Now in this bowl, we're going to put our sugar, which is a cup, a cup and a half of sugar. I've got a half a cup of oil. I'm just going to cream those together. I've got two eggs. I'll just kind of mix that up. Get them mixed up good. Cream your sugar and your oil and your eggs together. Now I've got a cup and a half of orange juice right here. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in here. And I've got a big tablespoon of orange zest. So you can imagine how good this is going to be. With all the orange juice and orange zest, the cranberries. Now, I'm using dried cranberries, and I've got a cup and a half of cranberries. And I took my cranberries, and I kind of took my chef's knife and kind of diced them up. Now, if you don't have dried cranberries, but you have some leftover whole cranberries, maybe in the freezer or something like that, you can cut them up and use them. So now I'm going to put my four cups of my dry ingredients. And this is a, an easy recipe, easy dough, so you don't really have to get your mixer out. I know I've had people say, you know, can I make this recipe? I don't have a, mix, a mixer. And yes, of course you can. You can make anything without a mixer. They've done it 100 years ago with no mixers. It's just a, a thing of convenience anymore. And believe me, I love my mixers. Now my dough, my batter looks a little bit lumpy, which is okay. Now I'm going to take my cup and a half of cranberries. And I'm just going to kind of fold that in. I'm going to put my batter in the refrigerator for just uh, about an hour. And then we'll make our, we'll make our whoopie pies. We're going to get started on our marshmallow filling for these whoopie pies. 
and we're using marshmallow fluff marshmallow cream craft jet puffed marshmallow cream and you need about I think it's a it's a cup and a half of the marshmallow cream so I'm going to use one of these containers is seven ounces so I'm going to use one container and then part of another this makes a really good frosting for a cake too something that I've not ate in a long time that I used to love and that's a fluff and nutter sandwich and that's peanut butter and marshmallow cream it's so good so good so we're gonna get this in here and there's all kinds of whippy pie recipes I have got a ton of them and if y'all think y'all might be interested in maybe some more different recipes after y'all see this one I'll be I'll be glad to start doing some recipes on them so we're going to call that about a cup and a half now I don't generally use shortening but in this recipe you don't have any choice they want you to use a cup and a half of Crisco and I've got buttered flavored Crisco You need a cup of powdered sugar and I'm going to start out I'm just going to put about a teaspoon of orange juice and go from there we got old Bessie out here and we're going to let her mix this up because I know I didn't want to do this by hand I'm just going to whip this just a little bit then I'm going to see what the thickness is before I put any more orange juice in it I'm going to scrape down the sides a little bit so much yumminess it feels like to me like it's going to be really spreadable I just don't think I need any more liquid in it, but it tastes really good. I might put just a hint, not much, because you don't want it too thin, because this is your filling. Yeah, that's a good spreadable consistency. I don't want it any thinner than that. So, that come together pretty fast. Now we'll get our cookies in the oven. When they come out of the oven, we gotta cool them down all the way before we can put the filling in.
11 minutes in my oven and they're out. Now I'm going to let them cool down just a little bit before I take them off the sheet pan and put them on the cooling rack. Now I've got enough of my whoopie pies baked here to start putting the filling on some. The one thing I want to, <laughs> I've noticed is in this recipe, as many whoopie pies as I've made in my past, these did not puff up like they usually do. And I think it may be because of the orange juice. Uh, the acidity uh, probably done something with the gluten or something uh, because they usually puff up just a little more than this. But that being said, it don't matter. These are going to be wonderful. Um, you're just going to take your marshmallow filling. And I've also got a cream cheese filling too if you don't want to do marshmallow. I usually do that with the uh, gingerbread and the carrot cake whoopie pies. But you could do it with this one too. But that's what you do. You just make a little sandwich out of it. Now the chocolate ones, the kids always said it reminded them of uh, old fashioned Susie Q or even an Oreo cookie. Um, I got to reading a while ago and uh, I was looking up um, who come up with the first whoopie pie. And they were talking about uh, the Amish it was the Amish women that uh, the remnants of their their cakes and their frostings they'd have left over, they'd just do this with them and uh, make little hand pies out of them for the for their husbands to take in their lunches. And you know the saying is that they'd open their lunch up and see these little uh, whoopie pies in there, and uh, they'd say whoopie. Now I don't know. I don't know that to be truth, but anyways, sounds good to me. But look how pretty that is. You can see the cranberries, the filling. Your grandkids or your kids can get in on this and make a bunch of them. You can uh, put these in the refrigerator and they'll last quite a while. I've never froze marshmallow cream in anything somebody else might know the answer to that if you could freeze these with this kind of filling i'm not sure you just kind of smush them in there just like that so good but yes i, I really noticed how these didn't puff up much but we'll make a, a different kind sometime and i'll show you how how puffy they get in the middle just kind of like a a uh, little miniature cake is what it looks like. But these are so good. And you can make a, this reminds me of the, the homemade oatmeal pies too. Like Little Debbie's, this is how you would make them too. But these are so good. The kids will love them. Adults will love them. Um, what I do is I'll uh, take me a little bit of plastic wrap and I wrap them individually then I stack them in a container and put them in the bottom of the refrigerator and that's how I keep them and uh, somebody wants one they can go in there and get one or if you're serving it up you don't even have to wrap them just put them in a container till you're ready to, to serve them to everybody and I did eat, take a bite of one, and it's so good. You can taste that orange, that hint of orange juice in there, that orange zest. You can taste the cranberries. And like I said, you can put whole cranberries in here, but you'd want to cut them up a little bit. And uh, you don't have to use the dried one. And you can use any kind of dried fruit as far as that goes, really, and they'll be good. So anyways, there's just a few made up. I wanted to show that to you because I'm going to continue making them up and getting them filled up, putting their filling in, and uh, that's what a whoopie pie is, and they're so good. Y'all seen how easy it was? And I hope y'all try it. And like I said, I've got all kinds of different kinds of whoopie pies that we can make up. If y'all think y'all might want them recipes... As time goes on, we'll just be making all kinds of whoopie pies.
thinking you can do? I'm thinking that you could make the uh, the whoopie pies up without the, the filling. And you could freeze them. This one's kind of not shaped right. I'm fixing to eat it. <laughs> but anyways, without the filling, make these and freeze them. And then uh, the closer to Christmas time it gets, and you want to share this and put it in your cookie box with all your beautiful cookies you're going to be giving away, you can fill them, and there you go. So, it's about that easy. I hope y'all like this recipe. I'm fixing to get Mr. Brown in here to eat one. We'll see what his reaction is. <laughs> but uh, y'all had to try this. It's really easy. Um, you know, even if we don't all get to be able to get together on Christmas this year, that's fine. We can still do our all the baking that we just love to do at Christmas time and box it up and give it to our friends and neighbors and people in need that maybe won't be having a Christmas. So we can think about that and help others. So God bless everybody. We love you. Oh, look what I did. I got a two for one on this recipe. I've got whoopie pies, and I've got muffins. Isn't that great? This is a really good recipe, y'all. Good for the holidays. It smells good in here, don't it? <laughs> so, it smelled so good in here earlier than I've been outside and I come back in, and it smells so good. It reminds me... Uh, the cookie or the cake or the pie, whatever you want to call it, uh, cooking in the oven reminds me of an old-fashioned yellow cake mix, and I love that smell. I love that smell of that bacon. So you want to try one of my whoopie pies? I want to try one. Okay. Are you flirting with me? Yes, I am. Whoopee! <laughs> <laughs>